Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Liasia. And before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. So hit that button and also turn on your post notifications so that you never miss an upload. Today's video will be me sharing all of my eco-friendly items that I started incorporating into my life a few years ago. And I thought that I would share them with you in case you're looking to also be more eco-friendly, but don't know where to get started or feel like it's very overwhelming and you don't know what to do or what to buy. So back in 2018, I started making more of a conscious effort to be more eco-friendly. These are a lot of the items that I've been using and I definitely think that they're very easy. They're easily accessible and they're also easy to incorporate into your life without you feeling overwhelmed. So everything that I'll mention in this video will be linked down in the description box if you are interested in checking them out and giving them a try. I'm excited to finally bring stuff like this to my channel so you guys you get to see a little more of my interests and things that I'm into. So starting with this, let's get into it. So the very first thing that I decided to cut out when I decided I wanted to be more eco-friendly was my usage of plastic straws. I knew that straws would be an easy thing to kind of like get rid of because for one, I feel like I don't use that many, so it's easy to kind of turn it away. And I decided to buy some paper straws. So this is just a set of paper straws that I bought. I love that they're so fun because you can get different colors. I order like the white and gold ones. So I actually just repurchased some more because I ran out and they're so cute. Look how cute, I hope the glare, you get to actually see it. Probably not, but these have stripes. You have some that has stars and hearts in like a chevron print. And I thought, this is fun, it's cute, and it'll be a way to not use plastic straws. So once I started getting used to the whole paper straws and having that and easily dispose of them and they're biodegradable so I know that they aren't harmful for the earth, I do know that they still do contribute to waste, which is true, but being that it's biodegradable is definitely a lot better. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have waste, you cannot control that. <laughs> But so I use these as an option for some things, but then I also had went on to buy the lovely glass straw. So the glass straw for me is something that I will use at home and I can use it for more things. And then I save my paper straws for specific things. Um, but I love the glass straw. First of all, it's super sleek. I feel like you guys are not gonna be able to see this. It's super cute and sleek and it has that little curve. So I love it. And then you get this little brush for you to clean it. Just go in here, you do that and it cleans it. I love the idea of a glass straw. It does make me feel like I'm living my best bougie life. And y'all know I like to live a bougie life just a little. Just a little. So I do love this as an option. I know they have the metal straw option as well, but for me, I didn't like the idea of metal because you can't see through it. So even though you have the little spoolie brush to clean it, I can't see it to make sure that it's completely clean and that grosses me out and it freaks me out and I don't like that. But with a glass straw, you can see how clean it is. So if you're drinking something that's not clear or like I said, a smoothie or juice or anything that's colored, you know, the cleanup, you can see it and you'll know like, okay, this is clean. I can see through it. The metal straw thing, you can't see it. But if that's your thing, do your thing. So another thing that I decided to do to help eliminate my use of plastic was to buy bags for going grocery shopping. That's one place where we get a lot of plastic, like plastic bags, either doubling the bags, you do tons of grocery shopping, so you come home and you have all these plastic bags and it's like just a lot and a lot of plastic. So I decided to make sure that I start bringing my own bags to the stores so that I don't have to use plastic bags. So I have the cutest bags so I started with these kind of burlap jute tote bags and look how cute. 
Organic food, just kidding, it's wine. So I love this. You can find so many different ones, but this is such a cute, large tote bag that you can fit your groceries in, and it's just easy. You have a good sturdy handle, and it's definitely a lot easy to carry. I have another one here that says goods and provisions. Again, good handles. It's deep size, also wide enough for you to fit a good amount of groceries in. And I just felt like that was something I really wanted to do to bring my own bag so I could put my groceries in. Let me tell you, that is where I used to mess up a lot. And I'm like, damn, I didn't bring my bags. And now I'm here in a grocery store and now I have no choice but to use the plastic bags because I can't just carry my groceries loose. So that's something that will take getting used to, but I recommend like if you drive, you can leave them in your car so that you know they'll always be in like your trunk or something and you'll have it. But the biggest tip that I would give is always make sure you're kind of being more intentional and strategic when you're gonna go shopping. Like when you set that day of going shopping, then you kind of know like, okay, and I need to bring my bags. A lot of times I got caught because I didn't plan to go shopping, which still happens and it happens to all of us and whatever. But a lot of times I didn't plan to go shopping and it ends up in the store and like, oh damn, now I don't have my bags. So I try to just make sure I'm always intentional when it's time to go shopping, like this day. So I can remember to bring my bags and not stop in too many, like every day you're stopping in, picking up little things. Cause if you don't have your bags, now you're using plastic. So that's what I did. And I had purchased these totes and they come in handy and they're great and I love them. This is just two. And although they're big, if you do a lot of grocery shopping, it's but so much that's gonna fit. So don't feel like you have to constantly buy all of these bags to accommodate that because a lot of times we shop in places where you get these cute bags that you can just reuse. And that's what I was doing at first before I started purchasing cute little tote bags. But I have bags like this. This was something I got in PR, but it's like easy canvas shopping bags that I started out with because they were reusable and good to shop with. Something like this, got this from a bakery a, like a bakery, it was like cookies. And they gave this cute bag, super big, so I was using this. And then I have like two of these, which I got from when I purchased some candles from this candle company. And they gave these bags. And I have like two of them. So I had started out with my own bags before like, oh, feeling like I wanted to get real cute and buy other ones. So if you have these, bags that you get from places, use those. Now that we discussed going grocery shopping and bringing my bags, I was in the middle of shopping, picking out my lemons, and I'm like, wait, I have to use the plastic produce bags. But then that defeats the purpose of me bringing my own bags to not use plastic if I'm still using plastic produce bags, all my vegetables and my fruits. So that felt really counterproductive, you know what I mean? So I was like, okay, I need to change that. That's when I bought some reusable mesh produce bags. So these are the bags that I bought. They come, I believe a pack of six and you'll get two of each size. So you have the larger size, then you have a medium size, and then you have a small one. So you get a good variety to cater to all of your produce needs and you get two of each. Again, I'll link in the description box in case I'm quoting anything wrong. You can check it out after the video. Drawstrings, you can close it up. They are reusable mesh. So you have all the holes, so it's still breathable. And it's super easy, super easy to fill up with your fruits, your vegetables, and this way you don't have to use the plastic produce bags. So now you have your reusable bags here, and then when you're checking out, you have your reusable bags there. No plastic needed, no plastic necessary. You know, it feels good once you actually start doing this because you really feel like, I'm doing so great for the world. Like, I'm doing great for the world. At least that's how I felt. So this next item that I'm gonna show you was a replacement for something that I grew up using and that's Ziploc bags. I have to try to find something as a replacement. There's gotta be something out there as a replacement. And that's when I found 
these reusable Ziploc bags. Ziploc is a brand, I know, but these reusable storage bags. <laughs> so they do come in a few sizes. You have a larger size, you have your medium size, and then you have a smaller size for you to use. I already have some in my freezer. I have some in my refrigerator. Like, I love, love, love these. They are so easy. They are like one of the easiest things to have replaced. And they're actually really good quality. Like, the quality of this is really sturdy. The snap closures of this is so much better than actual Ziploc bags, if you ask me. These are just really great storage bags. You can use them for your snacks. You can use them for your children if you wanna pack them snacks or lunches and sandwiches, whatever. Like, you can use them to put things in the freezer, in the fridge. Like, they are really great quality storage bags and I love them. Very, very happy with this purchase. Like I said, you get a few of each um, three sizes. And again, inexpensive because you buy it once and then they're gonna last you a long time because you get to reuse them and you clean them out. I love this. So very happy with this purchase for sure. So the last item that I have to show you guys is something that I wasn't really looking for, but I stumbled upon it and was like, ooh, that's kind of interesting. I'm here for it. Wool dryer balls. I know, it seems very, very random, but let me tell you, they are supposed to be a replacement for dryer sheets, which of course, dryer sheets, you use one, you throw it out, so that is something that contributes to waste, like everything else that we are trying to eliminate. It contributes to waste. Also, dryer sheets usually have chemicals in them that can be harmful to you and your skin, like it can be irritating and harmful to your skin. If you are someone who has like sensitive skin, you know, to be careful. But then also when you throw them out, they can be, those chemicals can also be harmful to the earth depending on where it, where it ends up. So these wool dryer balls are meant to replace your dryer sheets and how they work is you put them in your dryer with your clothes and the balls will be bouncing around in the dryer. It's gonna help separate your clothes as well, which allows better airflow and the heat to really circulate and go through your clothes, which is also supposed to help your clothes dry faster and then bam. So now you're saving energy because you don't have to keep your dryer on for that long. And then you're also not contributing to waste because these are reusable and you can use them again for the next load and then you can use them again for the next load and you can use them again for the next load and you get the point. So I love this idea. So of course, naturally I'm like, okay, well, let me buy them, let me try it out. So it comes a set of six and for small loads, you'd use three balls in a load if you have like more smaller load but if you have really large loads of clothes you'll use all six and throw it in there for the cycle of drying that load of clothes and i thought they were cool i was interested again it was an, a way to cut down waste so i said why not let me give it a try but i think they're cool so i was definitely intrigued so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my eco-friendly items. Like I mentioned, every product discussed in this video will be down in the description box linked for you. So you can check them out. You can purchase them and try whichever one piques your interest. If you're someone who like me at first was so overwhelmed and didn't know where to get started, I think these are great starter items and you don't feel like it's this big commitment and a chore. Like they're really easy to incorporate for, for your day to day. Like honestly, they're really easy. So that's why these were a lot of my first items, but definitely give them a try. And I would love to hear how you like them if you do. So if you share it on Instagram or anything, make sure you tag me, mention me in your stories. Definitely get in those comments and let me and everyone else know your recommendations and your suggestions because I'm always looking for other ways to eliminate waste and, you know, incorporating more things to being eco-friendly. So let me know what you use and the things that work for you because a lot of us are interested in being more eco-friendly. And even if you felt like you weren't, maybe you're watching this video and like, you know what? 
that seems pretty easy, I'll give it a try. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it helps my channel, it helps YouTube actually suggest my channel and videos to other people, and also it lets me know that you enjoyed the video and I know what to keep bringing you as well. So as usual, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye.